Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today we have a super fun project. We are going to be making a little shovel for the garden and it's a 3D one. And this is for Cards TV Blog Hop and the Blog Hop is Anything Goes theme. So I've got some double stick adhesive on here. I will make sure and list the silhouette number for this little guy. And then we're just going to add the piece that goes on top of this here. So it's got this one that's got kind of a little crease in it and that goes on the back side and then this one here goes on the front and this is super adhesive tape that I have that I'm working with so I'm just trying to be really careful how I line this all up here and let's see and then it's got that little pocket right inside there so now let's start with another little layer this is another layer here and this is going to be the handle portion so I've got Two, and I've gone ahead, of course, and creased everything here with the little creases. And I put double stick tape on here. And I am just going to lie this flat because this piece goes over here and it's going to adhere onto this piece here. So I'm just trying to line this up properly here all along the seam. There we go. Keep pressing it along there. All right, and so now you get this kind of little triangle thing here. Now I'm going to move on to the next part, and this is another part of the handle. So I am going to peel off the extra sticky tape. Oops, sorry there. And peel all this back because it's it's longer than the actual sticky portion here that I need to adhere it to. So let's see the easiest way to do this. I'm not sure myself, so I'm just going to... Let's see. Just got to adhere this onto here. It's kind of awkward to do, but I will see if I can do this. Let's see. Okay. That seems to be going on pretty good there along this seam here. And I'm going to keep pressing down there to that seam. Okay. And now. You need to close up this little back piece here. I'm just going to peel away all these little pieces here. And I'm going to peel them back and stick them onto. Normally, if you would do like the 1 8 size of this Wonder Stick tape or Ranger tape or super double adhesive tape, I got mine at Michael's. You can also get it online. And there's lots of different online stores that carry it. And I'm sure Hobby Lobby has it as well. So then you press these down. And then you're going to press this on top of this here. So I'm um, trying to get the best angle to press this down with. Let's see here. That seems to be working pretty good. And then they said you can put like a pencil in here and press down. So I'm going to grab a pencil and press down in there. Okay, I have this right here. I'm just going to use this kind of press it down to make sure that that is all adhered nicely and now the next step is to take this little guy here and place it through this right here and you're going to line up these here and then this will close down like that so that's how that looks there so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add, I think I'm just going to put some glue, even though I'm not a big glue fan. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this to adhere this onto here. Okay, now I'm going to add my glue right here. If I can get it to come out. Oh, there we go. I just don't like glue because it's so messy. So I prefer not to use glue. If I can at all prevent using glue, then I will. Because I definitely like my double stick tape. It's just quicker myself so I prefer it to see how messy that is I bet people that are used to using glue doesn't it does, isn't that messy for you but for me it it is that messy for me so not so good now since I got that down there I think I'm going to go ahead and add some more double stick tape onto this here so I make sure and close this up really well so I'll take a little piece here that. I'm going to add a little piece on the other side here. There we go. And I know that this tape is extra wide, so it's going to 
kind of get in the way of everything. So what I would recommend is to peel it back and then kind of tuck in the edges. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm just folding in the edges like that. And this little piece here I got isn't sticking down so well. Okay, there we go. Peel that in, make sure that all the little parts on the inside. Okay, now I'm going to peel off this edge here and then peel back this extra piece here and peel off this edge here and again peel this back onto itself there. Bend these inward and now this is going to close like this onto that. So that's looking really good. I'm really happy with the way this is all coming together. Just going to press this down a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I really like the way that's coming together. Then you take this and slide it right onto there, and it kind of gives you a, a where where this needs to stop at, like about like that, which looks really great. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some glue to all of this here, or should I say double stick tape to all of this here to get this inserted into there. And since it has three portions of it, I am just going to tape all three portions of it here. There we go. Peel that onto each other. Now we're going to slide this into here. I'm going to slide it right about there. And now I'm just going to press a little bit to kind of get that in there a little bit snug. Really cute. Now there's just a couple little decorative things that we're going to do to the top of this to really make this stand out. Okay, so this is the decorative piece that's going to go on top of the look-alike metal handle. And what we're going to do here is it goes like this. And then we're going to wrap it around. This one goes first because this goes over the top of it. So before I push down really hard on that, I want to want to try to center this as best I can here let's see here so there's that and now last but not least the other piece that I have here is a little band that goes around this here so I think once again I am going to use my double stick tape because this stuff seems to work the best I think so I'm going to Take this all the way to the outside of this. Reason being is this folds first, so I'm just going to fold this together like this on top of each other like that. Then this little piece is going to connect, but I do want to make sure that this adheres nicely as well onto the outside of this, so I am going to do a double dose of this, meaning gonna adhere this onto here again you can use glue I definitely prefer this so there's that piece here I'm gonna peel off this all right make sure I got the center of this so it goes on one of those little peaks there is what it'll go on okay and now this little piece can go under here and this little piece will go over there. You can also tug in, tuck in that little tab, but I just did it like that. I think that looks so cute. So now what I need to do is add my cute little sentiment. Okay, so what I decided to do is add this cute little bow and the sweet little sentiment, A Little Dirt Never Hurt. And this is from the Cards TV stamp set. That's my boy. And what I plan on doing this is giving a little gift card to my dad for Father's Day as well as some seeds and a little plant because he loves to garden. So I think this would be a really cute little Father's Day gift. So that's what I plan on doing with it. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.